migration and the economy are the top of the list of concerns for Germans. That's according to the latest numbers from the polling institute Infratest at DMAP. It shows uh, dwindling support for the governing coalition, while the far-right AFD is gaining ground over its stance on migration. What to do about surging numbers of asylum seekers? Right now, that question is near the top of the political agenda in Germany. In the first eight months of this year, the number of asylum applications has been almost as high as in the whole of 2022. More than a million refugees have come to Germany as a result of Russia's war in Ukraine. Local authorities are under strain as they struggle to provide accommodation, health care, schools and daycare centres. Opposition parties are sounding the alarm. We have to solve this problem, dear friends. That many Germans share the concern is evident from the latest Infratest DMAP opinion poll. It shows only just over a quarter of Germans think immigration brings benefits, while nearly two-thirds think immigration causes problems. That's higher than it's been in recent years. The poll also shows 64% of Germans think the country should take in fewer refugees, with just 27% saying the current numbers are OK. A further problem for the government is an increase in the number of migrants arriving via Poland and the Czech Republic. That has prompted a U-turn from Interior Minister Nancy Faeser, who long opposed more fixed checks on Germany's normally open frontiers. She now says the borders to Germany's east should be more closely controlled. We absolutely have to stop the smugglers' cruel business because they put people's lives at risk for maximum profit. The European dimension to this problem looms behind the debate in Germany. Efforts to agree a common asylum system in the EU continue to prove difficult, as does the question of how to police Europe's frontiers. If we do not manage to protect the external borders and enforce these procedures, then open borders in the EU are in danger. Add to that a visa scandal currently engulfing Poland, whose consulates are accused of accepting money from migrants to speed up visa applications. Some of those people have arrived in Germany to the annoyance of Chancellor Scholz. The visa scandal that's now taking place in Poland needs to be investigated. I don't want Poland to simply wave us through and then have a discussion about her asylum policy afterwards. Most people agree a European approach to limiting irregular migration is needed. But the Infratest poll shows most Germans doubt it will come soon. Under a quarter think a common European refugee policy can be realised in the near future. As the search for solutions continues and migrants arrive in record numbers, Germany is debating how open it can be and whether everyone deserves a welcome. Let's take a closer look at this with uh, our political correspondent, uh, Benjamin Alvarez uh, Gruber. Welcome, Benjamin. Uh, why are Germans uh, changing their minds about welcoming uh, immigrants? So we see that there's definitely a change in the rhetoric and the rhetoric that we usually see from Germany's far right AFD party is gaining ground outside of the party. There are remarks also by party leaders. There was a recent example by Friedrich Merz, the leader of the conservative CDU party that we saw in the report. I quote, while um, asylum seekers sit at the doctor's office and have the teeth redone, German citizens next door don't get any appointments. There was something, a controversial remark that was immediately debunked by doctors and by refugee organizations. And it's not the first time that he has misrepresented the entitlement that refugees have to state benefits. But this is only an example to show you how especially during times of elections, and there are two state elections coming up here in Germany, um, this law and order and this anti-migrant um, approach also is uh, seen also by other uh, party leaders. There will be elections in Bavaria also. And to give you another example, state leader Markus Söder recently visited a checkpoint. He praised the state's border police as a model uh, for Germany. And he said, well, the EU's external borders are not effectively protected. 
we must secure our own borders. So there is indeed a shift in politics, but if we just saw in that report in the general population, there is an increased dissatisfaction with uh, the developments and how the German government is um, dealing with asylum policy with this poll that 64% of Germans think that the country should take in fewer refugees. Let's look at that dissatisfaction then. Now, what does that mean for the government's popularity? So the German government coalition is changing its approach. We can see this law and order approach too with German Interior Minister Nancy Faeser. There was indeed a really strong U-turn on stationary border control. She said that they were ineffective, that they need a high number of police officers to guard them. She's now openly advocating for them in talks with her counterparts from Poland also from the Czech Republic. Uh, there are still differences, and that's something that we saw yesterday during this uh, meeting of EU um, interior ministers in Brussels um, on how to change this migration laws. And even though yesterday German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock welcomed her Italian counterpart Antonio Tajani, they wanted to show a sign of unity, but underneath there are still many topics that need to be resolved on human rights guarantees and detention centers, the role of NGOs when it comes to facilitating migrant arrivals. But Germany has made it clear that it is ready to agree on this new compromise, a proposal for how to regulate migration on the European Union, for the European Union, despite there are still concerns, and those concerns are indeed shared with human rights associations. Thank you for that, uh, DW political correspondent uh, Benjamin Alvarez-Gruber.